The plot function is probably the easiest part of PyPlot to use right out of the box. It's fairly versatile. If you use it without a lot of additional arguments, it defaults to an XY line plot, but by providing other arguments, you can change the kind of plot uh, to other sorts, such as XY scatter plots. You can, there is some degree of control that you have over the features of these plots, but they're more limited than um, the kinds of plots that we'll create in a moment. So uh, the default input into these PyPlot plots are NumPy's arrays. However, since Pandas series are built out of NumPy arrays plus labels, we can generally pass in a Panda series uh, and it will serve the same purpose as a NumPy array. So that's convenient since the columns of our tables are Pandas series. We can pass in uh, a slice that contains a column and it'll work fine as an input to the plot function. So let's try this out on some of our data. So returning back to our COVID-19 data, um, let's take a look at what is what happened during the early parts of the pandemic by looking at only the first the rows of the first 50 days of the pandemic. So as we can see in the very first day, January 21st, there was only one known case in the United States. And for a number of days, there were no known deaths. So if we want to examine what happened during these first 50 days, uh, it's fairly straightforward to simply use the plot function put in the, uh, the cases column from our data frame and put in the desk column from our data frame. And as I said, since those columns are, uh, are a pandas series, we are effectively passing in a NumPy array and that's what the plot function wants. So if we do this, we'll see that um, we get a nice line graph this does not give us terribly great information though because we don't really know about the position of of the the actual data points and so it might be better instead of using the generic line plot like i did here to switch over and have it do a scatter plot so if i um, change the plot type to a scatter plot we can see here the data for the individual days of the pandemic. So what we can see here is that there are a number of days that um, for which there was a non-zero number of cases, but there were no known deaths. And then uh, very suddenly the number of deaths compared to the number of cases jumped up and then it sort of leveled off. So uh, this is more informative than what we had, but it would actually also be nice to connect these points with lines because we don't really know for sure that what we're seeing in here was sequential and the lines would help us uh, be able to see that. And so we can um, embellish this graph a little bit by going back to a line plot but now instead of using solid lines, we can use a dashed line and then put a marker at each one of the data points. So if we choose O as the marker type, it will put a dot. The colors, um, there are different color codes. K is the color code for black. Um, so if we go ahead and run that, we see this is probably the best um, way to visualize this. So we can see the ordering of the points because of the connected dots, but we can also see the what was happening on the individual days. Um, now, one nice thing about this is that if we use the um, plot function, we can use a calculated series. So we don't have to just put in a, a column from a data frame directly, we can actually manipulate the data from the column first. So if I take the cases column, which I've now um, expressing with the square bracket notation, I can divide those cases and the deaths by a thousand and then take the sequence that I 
generate from that and pass those into the plot function. So if I do that, now I see um, this is essentially similar to the graph that I did earlier with my pandas plot, but now I've been able to basically divide um, the units on the axes by a thousand. So instead of, so these are numbers of thousands of cases and thousands of deaths. So the plot looks the same, but I have a higher degree of control over the plot. One of the things that I can't control as easily, though, is the axis labels. And so um, if I want to control the axis labels, I'm going to have to use a, uh, a form of PyPlot that gives me greater control.